Hello, welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to take you through the process that I passed through to make this cool looking elevation in Revit. To get started, I'm going to go to the south elevation here and I'm going to first of all activate the the shadows here. You go to this uh, icon here and click shadows on. You can click on and off. When it is off, you see this uh, cross sign here. And if it is on, you click on, you do no longer see the cross sign. And now you can see we still, we have now the shadows. And to go a little bit deeper, I'm going to kind of, um, um remove this um, i'm going to remove these annotation um, elements i'm going to type in vj on the keyboard and then i'm going to go to annotate and i'm going to uncheck this show annotation categories in this view all right and i hit apply hit ok now we stay with the, a very clean elevation like this one. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to these um, visual styles, click once and go to the graphical display options here. And here we have a number of, of options. We have the model display, shadows, sketchy modes, lighting, realistic and so on. But today we are going to mainly see uh, how to use the shadows and also the background. So I'm going to to shadows. You click on this uh, draw drop down menu and then you check this show ambient shadows. When you check that you hit apply. You can see the textures of our material here is changing to a more realistic view here. Let's now go back to this and go to graphical display options. And now we are going to go to to the sketchy to the realistic or to the background and what we are going to go to do we are going to activate the gradient we can first of all start by the sky maybe apply and see what it looks like i don't really love this one i'm going to go back and go to graphical display options go to background change from the sky maybe you can go to the image and if you have an image you want to to use on your desktop you can go ahead and select that particular image but uh, for this moment i'm going to use the gradient tool and you can customize here what colors you want in the background at the horizon or the ground color now uh, you are going to go ahead and apply this one you can now see that we have uh, a really nice looking elevation here as you can see now i can go a little bit and change the ground the this ground color you can change a little bit to maybe kind of um, make it a little bit uh, of greenish something like this maybe and hit okay hit okay and apply you can now start to see the this ground is becoming a little bit greener and uh, that's actually it so i mainly used the the shadows 
or you can turn in off or on and you can go here to the shadows and check these ambient shadows you can see the differences if i check the ambient shadows and here you can see those differences and i went to this uh, gr background and i chose the gradient and then i manipulated a little bit of these colors and then we come up with this uh, nice looking elevation uh, now maybe if you want to keep it technical you can go ahead and type in vj and maybe activate check this uh, annotation again and hit maybe apply or hit ok now you can see we still have these uh, grids and uh, the levels active but uh, for me i like it really clean because it's not really technical so i go on and uncheck all this and hit apply hit ok and now we have this cool looking elevation